Welcome to episode 45 of Let's Play Civilization 3, Play the World. Alright, now, we know that the Celts are fighting the Koreans and the Mongols right now, and also, I had a request on the comments of one of my previous videos, somebody wanted to see um, the stats for how my civilization was doing, so, first I'll show this graph, we're right behind the Germans on this, of course, we're doing much better, much better than the Germans, but this map is mostly based on territory, and it also includes the entire game, not just the present. So, since we were smaller in the past, the Germans are still ahead for now. And also, we'll show power and culture. And after this, I will jump over to the other screen. Show stats. As you can see, we're still the biggest in population and land area as well as shields and gold. We're dead last in literacy. I haven't built enough libraries and universities. We have a lot of disease, and our approval rating isn't the highest. But um, most of those stats seem to point in a good direction. Now, I want to keep this destroyer up here because I want to watch what happens. I want to see the fight between these two adversaries. All right. So you can see a lot more rails in our empire now. Maybe not every city is connected, but most of them are. And that's really going to help us if we have to fight somebody or just moving people around. So I um fortify these guys. I debate whether I want to increase my scientific funding, but that would actually have me lose money, so I decide not to bother with it, at least for now. We'll get there pretty soon anyway. So, oh by the way, see that um, orange spot north of Madras there? That is pollution. I think that's the first time we've seen it in this game. It happens only you know once you're well industrialized and when you have pollution on a square you can't use that square until you clear the pollution so it's pretty important to have a couple workers running around just clearing pollution when you get to this age now the Arabs want to talk to me sure why not turns out all that they want is a very simple uh, territory map exchange and of course or world map even but I don't mind trading them I might learn something new I mean even if the whole world is now explored we'll be able to tell if there are any new improvements and I can't tell any but you see those units running around now they are marines they have an attack of I believe 10 if you don't have tanks they are the most powerful unit up to this point I think we might even build, be able to build marines. And I'll probably build a couple, but I'm going to mainly be building tanks when the time comes. Because they are really what's going to get the job done. So the Koreans really do try to take this city, but there are so many Celtic infantrymen there that it's just not going to happen. And there goes an army. So we're really going to be in for a lot of worries there. Okay, um, Korean uh, battleship comes in. Alright, see the Mongols are using their right of passage treaty with us to move things along. See, even when you're not fighting somebody, you can still help the fight against them by things like right of passage treaty. So before I build a bomber, I want to build an airport so that the bombers are of higher um, caliber. Besides, the airports do increase some shields in the city, I think. So... There we go. Now, what I want to do here is talk to the Mongols. Now, here's what I do here, and this might be a controversial thing a bit. 
I decide to give them, yes, give them, a valuable resource of rubber. And you might be thinking, why the heck would you give one of your opponents a, a valuable resource for free? But the reason is, I want the Mongols to be strong against the Celts. I would rather strengthen them up so they can fight the Celts than um, having them be weak and conquered by them. And even though that might make the Mongols harder to fight later on, I think it is worth the risk. So for the meantime, we're going to be supplying them with equipment. And also, there's really no worry that something like that with the um, cell, or that happened with the Arabs and coal will happen to us because we already we have three extra sources of rubber. So all three of them aren't going to dis disappear on us, so we're safe. Now the Celts are attacking that city. I bet they're probably going to get it eventually, but for now, it seems uh, seems that Olsen is safe for the moment. Celts also got something that they've probably wanted for a while, which is a port on that coast. All right, and Mongols are moving trying to attack, but I'm pretty sure that cavalry is attacking a um, infantry unit, so that really does not work well, as we've established before with our many failed cavalry assault, cavalry assaults on the Celts. Now, we're going to construct our first bomber here because I want a fleet of bombers to await the Arabs. Ah, uh, the Arabs. The Celts. When our fight eventually does come. Because this war, wars like this don't stay small. They spread. They become big. Alright. So, we continue here. I see the Celts have already taken a northern Mongol city, but that city with the Japanese name that used to be ours? Oh, here we go. The Celts have placed a demand on us. Well, we don't take nicely to demands, do we? We say, screw them. And guess what happens? The Celts declare war on us. That's right, folks. We are back in a state of war with the Celts. So, everybody get ready, because... I don't doubt we're going to see at least another 10, 20, maybe 30 videos of fighting the cells. This isn't a battle for honor or glory. This is for revenge. We're out for blood against these people. And now we have the Chinese on our sides too, which, I, well, I guess the Chinese might annoy the cells a little bit, but that's probably all they'll do. And... The Mongols are gracious towards us. I mean, why shouldn't they be? We're giving them free stuff, and we're fighting their enemy. So we trade world maps with them. Good. Alright, see the Chinese are trying to move their troops across our territory. And there they go. It's exciting, isn't it? We're fighting our arch nemesis. Now we've completed Battlefield Medicine, which, if I said this before, allows us to um, actually heal our troops in enemy territory, which was not possible before this. So now that we're at war, that's going to be our focus, building up our military air, land, and sea. Especially air and land. But yes, we are going to do whatever we can to get back at these bastards for the, our previous wars against them. Now here's what I do. I go talk to the Germans. Hey Germans, my friends, I guess. How would you like to come along 
and help us fight the cells. They say, what's in it for us? And I say, I will give you some free tech because you're way behind. And they're like, oh, great. Sure, we'll fight them. So, that's all it takes. And now, with the click of the button, the entire world is fighting the Celts. This is going to be one heck of a war, I promise you. It certainly is. So, well, I think I want to wrap up this video. I will see you all next time when the war begins in episode 46. I can barely wait. See you then.